what do people think makes them look cool, but actually makes them look like a douchebag? Pretending to know or be something when actually having no idea. Being an asshole to other people to boost your own ego. I have a co-worker who has the gift of gab and is very proud of his ability to give people false assurances while being extremely vague. Essentially just bombarding them with words until they're satisfied. It's a useful trick, I suppose. But when you hear him do it in real time, you realize he's just a very good liar. Doing something nice for someone and videotaping it for clout. The ones who don't know how to get attention so they start gossiping about everyone. And I'm like I know your life is not interesting but please have some respect for others and for yourself. It's just a prank bro. It's just a prank. Said by every douche about to get their ass kicked because they pushed too far. What makes you nervous no matter how many times you do it? Sticking my hand inside the disposal when I drop a fork in it. I've seen people telling me to unplug the disposal. How does one do that? Approaching a green light that has been green too long but you are getting to the distance where you don't know whether or not you should stop or if you can stop. Tuning my violin. Drive in front of a police officer when I have no reason to be nervous. Using my table saw. Even though I am a carpenter. Using a mandolin slicer. Even using the safety guard I get a little queasy when I have to use it. What are the best games for get-togethers with friends? Jackbox games are a lot of fun. Pretty inexpensive and easy to learn and play. As for board games, we came across a fun one called Codenames that was a lot of fun for a pretty good-sized group of people. Secret Hitler is a personal favorite of mine. Snake Oil is also fun if you have friends who are good at improv. Asterisk spades asterisk. HTTPS colon slash slash bicyclecards.com slash how dash to dash play slash spades slash closing parenthesis. Keep talking and nobody explodes. Dixit is a lot of fun. Koo is quick to learn and quick to play. Telestrations. Exploding kittens. One night werewolves. Quick to pick up and just start playing with short rounds. Ticket to Ride is a great gateway game to modern board games. It's a Saturday morning when you were a kid. What cartoons are you watching? It's time for A-A-A-A-N-I-I-I-I-M-A-A-A-A-N-I-A-C-S. Dot is cute and yakko yaks. Something something. Clinton Sachs. Can't remember. Looney Tunes. T-M-N-T. X-Men. Transformers. Gargoyles. Looney Tunes. Smurfs. Muppet Babies. Pee-wee's Playhouse. Yeah not a cartoon but he showed them and it was on on Saturday mornings. No one's cooler than. Pepper Ann. Bugs Bunny. Road Runner Show Super Friends. Best show ever. Fat Albert Scooby-Doo. What is something that used to be considered safe? Okay, but now we know is harmful. Lead paint. Heroin. It was originally sold as a cough medicine by Bear. Sunbathing for long periods of time. Solid metal dashboards in vehicles without seat belts. A friend of mine in the army had a vintage car from the 1950s before seat belts were mandatory. Equipment. He was a reckless driver who liked to speed and weave in and out of traffic on the interstate. I only rode with him once. Radiation makeup. Single entry. Exit points on large buildings. IIRC the creator of push bar doors was a survivor of a child stampede that killed over a hundred. Kids. What should people know about fighting? Serious. Asterisk asterisk attention. Serious. Tag notice asterisk asterisk. Asterisk. Jokes. Puns.
and off-topic comments are not permitted. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash askreddit slash wiki slash index hash wiki underscore dash rule underscore six dash in asterisk any asterisk comment parent or child asterisk parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed along with their child replies asterisk report comments that violate these rules Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour. And posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. Asterisk I am a bot. And this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit. Message. Compose. To equals. R. Ask Reddit. If you have any questions or concerns, asterisk. Take pretty much everything you've seen in movies and throw it out the window. Don't expect the other guy per gallon to act logically or stop hitting you once you're down. There's no bell to save you and your friends might run away. It takes one punch, push, or fall to really ruin your life. There is nothing to gain but everything to lose. It's like gambling with the best outcome being you get nothing. Avoid. Evade and escape. If inevitable. Minimize the scale. Make sure you walk away in the clear. Nobody ever wins in a knife fight. You can be knocked out with a single punch and potentially die. It's not a safe thing whatsoever. If running away is an option, take it. If you could choose another animal to have the same level of intelligence as a human, what animal would it be? None. We have a hard enough time getting along with ourselves. Elephants, it would be cool seeing them integrated into society. Some kind of deep aquatic creature like the colossal squid or some shit like that. Would be neat to have intelligent beings on the surface in humans as well as in the still undiscovered parts of our oceans. The platypus, because that would be hilarious. I would say cats but I feel like there would be a huge spike in murder and dictators so. Frogs. Parrots. I would say dogs. But parrots would physically be communicate their thoughts. Rather than being forced to communicate through woofs. Seems like that would be rough. What is the most powerful chapter, paragraph, or sentence you have ever read in a book? Greater than, not only have you been lucky enough to be attached since time immemorial to a favored evolutionary line, but you have also been extremely make that miraculously fortunate in your personal ancestry. Consider the fact that for 3.8 billion years, a period of time older than the Earth's mountains and rivers and oceans, Every one of your forebears on both sides has been attractive enough to find a mate. Healthy enough to reproduce. And sufficiently blessed by fate and circumstances to live long enough to do so. Not one of your pertinent ancestors was squashed. Devoured. Drowned. Starved. Stranded. Stuck fast. Untimely wounded or otherwise deflected from its life quest of delivering a tiny charge of genetic material to the right partner at the right moment in order to perpetuate the only possible sequence of hereditary combinations that could result, eventually, astoundingly, and all too briefly in you. A short history of nearly everything, Bill Bryson. How could they have killed themselves? They had everything. But they didn't. They didn't have the cure for an illness that convinced them they were better off dead. Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson It has always seemed strange to me. The things we admire in men. Kindness and generosity. Openness. Honesty. Understanding and feeling. Are the concomitants of failure in our system. And those traits we detest. Sharpness. Greed. Acquisitiveness. Meanness. Egotism and self-interest are the traits of success. 
and while men admire the quality of the first they love the produce of the second. John Steinbeck. Canary Row. Really. The whole paragraph is good. But in particular. If people bring so much courage to this world the world has to kill them to break them. So of course it kills them. The world breaks everyone and afterward many are strong at the broken places. But those that will not break it kills. It kills the very good and the very gentle and the very brave impartially. If you are none of these you can be sure it will kill you too but there will be no special hurry. Ernest Hemingway. A farewell to arms. But I don't want comfort. I want God. I want poetry. I want real danger. I want freedom. I want goodness. I want sin. And. I'm claiming the right to be unhappy. Both from Brave New World. I don't quite know why. But they just hit different. In the beginning the universe was created. This made a lot of people very angry and has been widely regarded as a bad move. Subscribe, my brothers.